Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make time lapses with QuickTime Pro 7. Um, and this technique can be used on both a PC and a Mac. Um, so the first thing that you want to do after you have imported your photos from your camera, whether it be a point and shoot or DSLR, um, you want to open up QuickTime Pro 7 and you want to go to File, Open Image Sequence. From there you want to uh, find and select the your images that you have imported from your camera today I've got uh, some Milky Way shots from an old uh, time-lapse that I have done uh, a few months back and so basically you just select on the first image uh, in that folder and hit open or enter for open um, I like to have my videos at a frame rate of 24 frames a second but uh, you can choose at any frame rate uh, that you want so I usually just use 24 frames per second. You hit OK. And now QuickTime Pro will compile those images up and generate a time lapse sequence. And depending on your computer's processing power, it could take a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, after it's done, I like to view it, so I just hit File, Fit to Screen. And it'll show what your time lapse video is going to look like. And I have an older, uh, I'm using an older uh, MacBook Pro, so it's struggling to keep up with uh, these, these files, uh, pictures that are from my uh, Canon 5D Mark II. But basically, once this has generated a time lapse file, so what we need to do is hit File again, and we're going to export. No. And you're going to name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it Milky Way. Uh, barn time lapse. Oops. And I usually just save to the desktop. You can save wherever you need to save, wherever you save your stuff at. Um, depending on what kind of uh, video editor you use, um, you can adjust what kind of settings you want for your video. I use ProRes for using for use in Final Cut Pro. Um, but if you use, you know, if you need to have it H.264 file, if you want to upload it directly to YouTube, uh, you can without editing it, uh, or whatever um, codec that you, comp or sorry, compression type that you uh, like the best. Like I said, I like uh, uh, Apple's ProRes, so I usually select that, hit OK, and hit OK again. And now you're going to save uh, the movie file. After QuickTime Pro is done exporting, uh, it creates a, a movie file that has all your images together and it creates this time lapse sequence. Uh, you can then take this file and then import that to Final Cut Pro, Adobe, Avid, whatever, whatever you use to uh, create uh, and edit your videos. Um, and basically this is how I have, uh, for the past two years, have been creating my time-lapse videos. Um, there's other ways to do it. And this, this way is pretty simple, doesn't take too long. And uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd share on uh, how I make my videos. Um, and I plan to go a little bit more in depth later on, uh, later this fall, and I'll show you how exactly I, you're able to take images of this, of the star, of, like this of the stars. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe. Thanks.